Good evening. Thanks for coming to this council. First, I want to especially thank Ursula Lavin and the maintenance people for this wonderful setup. Don Grisher, who has done a great and fantastic job setting up the audio visuals, as well as our great Jazz Mighty to set the mood. Our musicians this evening are Paula Johns, vocal, her pianist Dean Schneider, Carlos Santiago on violin, Christine Mello on cello, John Gorby on electric guitar, and Ben Helmsley on drums. One thing I'd like you to do, though, is this is not an Episcopal or Catholic church. If you're so moved, can you move up a little bit? You're going to stay put, huh? Unless it's too loud. I first met Paula at the Paris Bistro a few months ago here in Chestnut Hill, and I realized what a great gift it would be to have her perform here at Chestnut Hill College. The generosity of the biology and music departments have provided the means to make this concert a reality, uh, but we are very happy to take your tips from you to defer our costs. So there's a tip jar over there. One faculty member asked me, what does a music concert have to do with science. Frankly, as far as I'm concerned, all things we know and do are driven by our biological nature. So now, uh, based on that, I'd also like to give you a little quiz. Science, music. This person was known as the first astronaut to walk on the moon. What instrument did he play? Baritone, horn. This person invented the telephone. What instrument did he play? No. <laughs> Piano. This person was a French edu educator who invented Braille. Very good. Well, if you get the instrument he played, I'll give you $10. He was? Nope. He was blind, by the way, so this was considerable accomplishment for him. Or maybe I'll give you somebody else. Albert Schweitzer also played this instrument. The organ. This person was a prolific American inventor with many inventions, including the light bulb. He played, he played the piano. All right, not too good. And now a brief genetics lesson. So I'm gonna make sure I get, you know what I'm talking about. A brief genetics lesson. Paula's mother was a great soprano, and her father was a, a church organist and choir director. Her parents really wanted Paula to study classical music, but as you'll see this evening, she took quite a turn. So Paula Johns, when I was a child about half past three, my mother said, daughter, come here to me. She said, things may come and things may go, but this is the thing you ought to know, and that would be music. Uh, Paula's Music and Paula's love for cabaret and jazz has pushed her into producing several shows with music from the Great American Songbook. And you'll see this evening a tribute to Ira, Ira Gershwin. Uh, Paula is also an accomplished actress, and so she has led several shows entitled The Great African American Ladies of Song, in portraying Bessie Smith, Billie Holiday, Marian Anderson, and the renowned Aretha Franklin. Paula's review is very short <clears throat> from John, uh, John Stead, Standout here in Chestnut Hill. I'm sorry, Ledger uh, Sentinel Bill Kingsley says, Paul Johns enraptured the crowd. The statuesque, energetic performer stalked the stage and sang alternatively with a voice like buttermilk poured over velvet and the growl of a tigress. I'd like you to welcome the tigress and her instrumentalist this evening, Paula Johns.
you can stop. I represent all the towns. Who is here this evening? My name is Dean Schneider. I'm Paul Thomas. Paul and I have about 30 year history together. We met in Philadelphia. And from there, we went to the United City and many other places uh, throughout the East Coast of the United States to play. And um, it's wonderful to be here. The place is a wonderful piano. And I'm glad you came out this evening. Thank you. 
she? How about a nice round of applause for Dean Schneider? <laughs> he is one of the most sought after pianists, arrangers, musical directors on the East Coast, probably West Coast, South Coast, North Coast, <laughs> and Mexico too. Uh, he works with people like uh, Diane Carroll, he's the mus musical director for Diane Carroll, Bernadette Peters, Carol Channing, Liza Minnelli, and Paula Johns. You're right, it's my agent. It's my agent. <laughs> We're going to continue, continue with uh, the Gershwin, Gershwin theme of a wonderful song called Oh Lady Be Good. Listen to my tale of woe, it's terribly sad but true. All dressed up, no place to go, each evening I'm awfully blue. I must find some handsome man, can't go on like this. I could blossom. Of somebody just like you. So, oh, sweet and lovely lady, be good. Oh, lady, be good to me. George was born uh, Jacob. And unfortunately, George died rather early at the age of 38. And Ari lived to be, Ari lived to be um, 98. So they only had about 41 years together uh, writing and collaborating on music. Um, but uh, this next song is a great song um, that uh, one of his favorite, they always loved singers, and their favorite singer was Fred Astaire. And this next song was sung by Fred Astaire in a movie called A Damsel in Distress. Uh, and just to show you that George and Iris' music still lives on today. I mean, it's still, we, it's in a Broadway musical called Crazy For You. Uh, some of you've seen it, but it's in a Broadway musical, Crazy For You. It, it was 
It was also um, sung by Sybil Shepherd. I think it was back in uh, 1995, on her show, this next song, Nice Work If You Can Get It. Holding hands at midnight beneath the starry sky. It's nice work if you can get it, and you can get it if you try. Strolling with that someone, sighing sigh after sigh. It's nice work if you can get it, and you can get it if you try. Just imagine someone waiting at your cottage door Where two hearts become one Who could ask for anything more Loving one who loves you And then shaking that vow It's nice work if you can get it And if you get it, won't you show me how musical called OK, O-K-A-Y, OK. Uh, it starred uh, Gertrude Lawrence, I think. This song was actually written as an up-tempo number, and then Ira suggested that it might work better as a ballad. I think you'll know the name of the song. I'm going to sing a beautiful verse up front, and if you know the song, holler out.
<laughs> right now we have a special treat. Uh, we'd like to bring up a couple, uh, more than a couple, uh, some musicians in the house here. Uh, Carlos Santiago on violin. Where is he? Let's give him a round of applause. Christine Mello on cello. John Gordon. Sorry, I pronounced, pronounced your name wrong. On guitar. Bill Hemsley on drums. It's nice to have a nice little band, isn't it? <laughs> We're going to do a jam, as us musicians call it, on a little ditty of a tune called I Got Rhythm. Uh, jamming. We're going to have some fun. We're going to have uh, just some fun, right, guys? Are you guys ready? I got rhythm. I got music. I got my man who could ask for anything more. I got Daisy in green pasture. I got my man who could ask for anything more. <laughs> Old man trouble, you won't find him. You don't mind him round my back door. I got music. I got Daisy, I got my man who could ask for anything more, who could ask for anything more, yeah. <laughs> Have a nice round of applause for John on the guitar. Daisies. I got my man who could ask for anything more. 
I got sweet dreams and green pastures. I got my man who could ask for anything more. Oh man, trombone, you won't find him. You won't find him round my back door. I got music, I got Daisy. I got my man who could ask for anything more. Who could ask for anything more Wow, I'm gonna take these guys on the road. Here we go guys, on the road. You got rhythm. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much. That was great. Uh, we're going to do a beautiful song, of course, written by the Gershwins. A uh, beautiful song called But Not For Me. And I'd like to feature uh, Christine and Carlos up front on this lovely verse to But Not For Me. A lady 
needs a friend with every happy plan hands with a Stairs sang, um, sitting on a dock, and he sang to Ginger Rogers. They didn't dance to this number, they just sang uh, from a, a show called The Barclays. The Barclays on Broadway, 1949. They can't take that away from me. The way you wear your hat, the way you sip your tea, the memory of all that. No, no, they can't take that away from me. The way you smile just be, the way you sing off key. The way you haunt my dreams No, no, they can't take that away from me We may never, ever meet again on that bumpy road to love So I'll always, always keep the memory of The way you hold that night the way we dance till three The way you change my life No, no, they can't take that away from me No, they can't take that away from me Schneider on the piano. 
Carlos Santiago on the violin. Christine Mello on the cello. John Corb, Corby on the electric guitar. And Ben Hemsley on the drums. We're gonna take just a little five minute break and we'll be back and have a, some other special treats for you. just met this gentleman uh, a few months ago. Was it a few months ago? Uh, and can I tell the story where I met you? <laughs> well, it was in a bar. <laughs> he, and his, he, and, he and his aunt. They, I was uh, performing at <laughs> I was performing at the Paris Cafe down the down the road there, and they were there, and uh, we, we kind of fell into a friendship right away, and then he invited me to his church, and then I sang at his church, and, um, and here we are now. Uh, and some of the songs that we sang in church are ones we're going to do for you right now. Some of you, while we were on a break, uh, how I started singing, uh, I learned uh, basically from 
my mother, who was a classically trained you know, opera singer, that's redundant, isn't it? Um, and also, when every, time, every time she concertized, she always ended her program with spirituals. And this next number is a song that she did sing all the time. And it's a great uh, song uh, called Deep River. This one, I'm hoping that I get you to sing along with me also. Bye. 
How about a nice round of applause for Dr. Joseph Kokoski? Good singing there. The Chestnut Hill Choir, right? <laughs> We're going to bring Dean Schneider back up. And, uh, Ben, come on down, Ben. It's your turn on the drums. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I have had such a good time this, uh, this evening. I hope you guys did too. Oh, you know, I have one more song that I'm supposed to be doing. I just remembered. I'm going to do a nice hand clapping, foot stomping song. I just remembered that. I almost left it out. I can't believe it. God is good all the time. Now, you guys have rhythm, right? <laughs> <laughs> Originally scheduled program. My ring, that was my ring that broke. My jewels. So, we're gonna do uh, this next number with with the band. I love it. Song that was uh, written for a Broadway musical in 1927 called Funny Face, and this song was sung, of course, by Ella Fitzgerald. And it was noted that, I did tell you that George and Ira Gershon really thought that Ella Fitzgerald was their favorite singer next to Fred Astaire. I mean, they didn't realize their songs could sound so good until Ella sang them. So we're going to start, we're going to do uh, Schwendapel. The Bossa Nova. Care for me 
and bell It's awful nice It's paradise What I long to see You make my life so glamorous You can't blame That's John. You make my life so glamorous. You can't make me a feeling amorous. Amorous is wonderful. Well, that you should care for. You should care for that you should care for me. Only How about a nice round of applause for Carlos Santiago on the violin? Christine Mello on the cello. John Corr, get it right, <laughs> on the guitar. Ben Kimsley on the drums. Dean Schneider on the beautiful Steinway. Thank you so much. Fitzgerald songs. Uh, this song she was she sang um, at Carnegie Hall, and it was basically the last time she sang before she passed away. Uh, as I said, she did an entire album uh, to George and Ira Gershwin, and this song I find very appropriate to end this evening. <laughs> It's very clear Our love is here to stay Not for a year But forever and the day Gibraltar may tell
Thank you so much, Paula, for coming, bringing your wonderful pianist, Dean. And thanks again to my friends, Carlos, Christine, Sean, and Ben. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>